Pom 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 Oh, background noise, yes. Come on, get over there. Need to change windows. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. Let's get this go. Oh yeah, like that. I don't know how much is gonna be covered up. At least we've got some audio. Just sort of chirping. There we go. Yes. Yes. All right. You can hear me. You can hear it. Fantastic. You seem to be seem to be streaming. Safe. All right. For those who have never played No Man's Sky, it's it's pretty chill. It's it's not very stressful, and I tend to play in as little a stressful way as I can imagine. Try not to get involved with anything too hideous, too horrible. Just gonna stream this on out. It's cool. I've got uh, an overlay from Odyssey Chat. <laughs> You're gonna see the pop-ups from my from my Steam overlays. That's always good because I'm not sharing the window. I'm sharing the. I mean, not sharing the game. I'm sharing the whole window. I should probably twiddle that, but you know how it is. You do what you do. Ah, oh, yeah, we're in my buddy's base. Fantastic. There we go. Oh, and the audio drops when I shift out of it. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. Now the question is, what's I doing? I was coming over here. Tighten that up. Looks like we're streaming. A uh, thing which I appreciate very, very much. We're working. All right. And cool. Now I'll just go on about my day. If somebody has anything to say, just let me know. Over in chat, not Steam chat, that's a girl. For the record, this is not my base. This is my buddy's base. Out here, middle of nowhere, complains because I've got a bunch of uh, vehicles parked around. Says it looks a little redneck. Maybe he's right. Wrong laser. There we go. Let's pick up some of these. I need dihydrogen oxide on a regular basis to make frigates, make frigate fuel rather, and uh, not about to give up on it. All right, come in. Hmm. Hold up. Start listening. Yes, I also have voice command brought up. Oh yeah, you can see all my windows. Good God, I really need to fix that. <clears throat> Talk about ad hoc, man. This is uh, rough. This is rough. I can destroy that. All right. So today, my plan, if you can call it that, is to use some of these freaking uh planetary charts and actually find some things oh yeah i need to go before i do that i need to get some stuff out of my inventory oh and i also have a fertile egg which he's uh, gonna be very large and gentle hopefully but that that'll wait that ah, actually no no that's that's not gonna wait we're gonna do that right now here we go hatching the egg well tempo tempo um, hey, Tempo Tempo, you are a little mutated. 
Uh, let's, let's get you fed up, buddy. Uh, you, you uh, why get fed up? Get you, uh, let's get you some rounded lasers mounted on you. On the right flank, uh, hit the port system, maybe? Oh, canisters? I like bio canisters. Also make those in red and black. Which, ironically, yeah, you should probably know would be my favorite colors, of course. Well, let's make us some creature pellets. Because we're gonna need some of those to keep this little dude happy. Hey there, buddy. Tempo, tempo. Give you a treat and get you all fed up. There we go. There he is. Too young to be hatching, and maybe he's gonna grow. Uh, he's a bit mutated out of the one that I created him from, but he's kinda cool. Cool. Awesome. Keep an eye out. Alright, so that's that's one less thing in our inventory. Um got a crystal fragment of Yeah, it's just a hydrogen, which should go into my backpack. Uh so let's go up to the freighter. That is where we go. Alright. Little dude will jump back into my pocket. This is the ship that got dropped yesterday as part of Hello Games' little deal. So we're going into space right now. Is that my this pull up go over here yeah yeah that's my bitter if we're on the wrong side of it All my frigates there we go now this is going to expose one of the real questions I have about about Odyssey streaming and that's oh crap need to approach that from the Run a little better. All right, and that's whether the 1K um, sort of bitrate is going to be sufficient, because this game is full of little graphical flourishes, dust, you name it. And I'm looking at the stream on the far side, and I'm not sure it's actually. I'm not sure it's translating well. It's like visually not translating well. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm also recording this and uh, I noticed a new button on the live stream which says record uh, or save what you uploaded. So we'll, we'll check it out. We'll, we'll make some analytical choices. Yes, yes I do have a weird hit. In case you're wondering. In case you're wondering. Alright. First thing we'll do is run with this is my frigate lab. Got some things. Ooh, free warp cell. Don't mind if I do. Check the missions. Uh, yes, I would like to speak to you. Covered 4,171 light years, and they will take. Four hours more. Not bad. Yes, I do have an S-Class ship on a trade mission. Uh, well, exploration mission. So all these guys will get some uh, bonuses, and that will be worth a lot of money when it comes through. We only have the one mission running. Cool, cool. Um, bring stuff to sell. Not so much. Not so much. However, here's what we can do. We can put stuff in the freighter. In storage. I'm gonna put these fireworks in storage because they are just not that useful to me right now. Get components, I'm gonna put this in the freighter. That's going into storage. Find sodiums in my pocket. That's going in the freighter as well. Some of the stuff I need to keep on me because I use it a fair amount. Um, cargo is largely full of stuff. 
Sodium diode, that's gonna go into storage. Exocraft boost module needs to be installed at some point. Hold on to the advanced ion battery. Actually, what does it take? About that. The living pearl needs to go in my nautiloid, but that's not my exocraft that's active, so it doesn't matter. Oh, do -do -do -do. See, let's just put this into a moment. Anything else that can go in storage, that can go into storage. Echnip, go into storage. Ek relic, go into storage. <laughs> Shield lattice, Shield. all good. So much nav data, I can't do anything with. Herox, go into storage. Borax casing, going into storage. Chronium, nope. Chronium, storage. In fact, storm crystals. Go into storage. Vortex cubes, you go into storage. So many tritium hyperclusters, but that's good. Derox, go into storage. I mainly need this open because trade goods are a big deal. And when that fleet comes in and finishes its trading, that's going to be a big deal. Suppose I should upgrade this fire freighter hyperdrive, give it some warp cells. Technology there. Now at least it can move, but I never use that. I don't have that unlocked. And at some point I, I really need to just reorganize all of this storage. Just like it's a mess. Mess. All over the place. Okay. That's better. Now, what do I need to uh, craft some more freighter fuel? 400 tons, I probably need some 50s. Craft some product. Oh, I need more iridium. Oh, that's fine. Let's see if we can't set up a we get run while we're doing other stuff. I'm not saying I get sidetracked easily in this game, but... But I pretty much get sidetracked really easily in this game. Ah, another Voyage of Discovery. All those guys are out. A 28-hour trade expedition. We have... Alright, Trade Galleon. Raid Galleon. Raid Clipper. And would that be enough? Let's see. That's four stars, 500. Yeah, we really got that. Go for it, guys. Here we go. Right, I run day plus missions. Because screw you, hippies. That's what I'm doing. All right. So, inventory is largely Cleared. <sighs> Six salvage data, I need way more of that. I've got creature pellets, I'm gonna need more of. Uh, signal booster, I'm probably not gonna use. I've got projectile ammunition I should just sell because I don't use a projectile weapon. The ship is locked. Hey, I can put it over there. There you go. Use up one more suit slot. Yep, it's 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 the game. It's all the game. Pugnium in storage. Activated storage. Definitely putting the nitrogen in storage. Ship. These things need to be refined. Do that while I'm standing here. For salvage data in suit. Have data in my suit. We got. Anomaly detector stacked. Ah. 
Oh, there's cobalt. All this can go in storage. All right. Why well, you check yourself before you leave? So you don't uh, don't run out of not any of that. Stuff. All right. Collected that. They pointing again because paranoia. Uh, arch refiner. Viscous fluid. Viscous fluids. Uh, viscous fluids processes the living slime. Uh, okay. I'm gonna build another large refinery. I think to uh, work. Back. I need more sodium nitrate. <sighs> It'll be one of those days, I see. Um, how's my technology slots? Right. Hmm. I have enough space to make a uh, suit. I don't have. Oh, maybe I do have enough slots to make. Portable refiner. What do I need for that? You. Chromatic metal. Oxygen. Fantastic. X lot. Uh, we'll put some fuel in you. And then carbon. And, uh, chromatic metal. This is almost. We'll just we'll just ride this out. We'll just take a moment. <sighs> All right. Well, the the stream doesn't look as bad as I thought I was going to. It's it's a little it's a little rough. It's a little rough. There's some artifacting, but not as bad as I thought. Seven. I'm not sure why viscous fluids turn into living slime. I, I thought that uh, you extract those to nanite. Alright. I'm just sort of burning time and power here, which is kind of unpleasant. Two, one, okay. Yep. Rusted metal. This is all stuff that came along after my time. The salvage stuff. All kind of new to me. Okay, this recycles waste materials. That's good. That's good. Uh, it turns into hmm, ferrite dust. Alright, sure. Alright, what is it that I needed? Build another one of them. In the recipe. Yep. I need more chromatic metal. I need to find something in my pocket. And technology recharge. All right. Fuel supply. Need some copper. Need something I've got a lot of. Find down. Iridium? Good, good amount of indium. No, 
Oh, you know what? That'll be much more efficient if I use oxygen. Pretty sure. All right, so we'll have to use the proper. We'll have to use the proper refinery. That's fine. Again, it's not a problem. We, these guys are still doing their thing. Three hours though. Not bad. Man. Let's see. And summon companions on your ship. Oh, okay, fine. These guys are going to be mo more than a day yet. Yeah, hour. Every once in a while, these things get um, a little... They don't go well. Let's say they don't go well. And you will need to have them repaired. Alright. Ah, yes, I've got one of these. Down here, I picked this up off a planet. Just good for decoration. And you know, is it needful for anything? No. Look cool? Yes. Yes, it does. Still crunching. Still crunching. I'm vaguely amused that uh, there's no chat going on, but I'm not really surprised. That's alright. I'm recording this. We'll go somewhere. Something will happen. Something will happen. When I'm done, I'll publish the replay and we'll see how that goes. Maybe it will be cool. Maybe it'll look really awesome. Maybe it will be um, the worst possible stream that anyone has ever seen. Maybe there'll be no audio coming out. I don't know. Who knows at this point? I got no idea. At least we're turning this rusted metal into some ferrite dust. I can't can't really complain. I mean, it's slow, so technically I could complain, but I'm not going to. There are lots of people who would. Oh so, yeah. Also, if anyone shows up on the Discord channel, which um, a few of you may know where it is. I, uh, all of the audio is going to the stream. We'll see how that goes, but it should be all right. Yeah, good times, good times. Kind of excited. This is, uh, I don't normally stream. Not really a streamer. Uh, I, I like my podcasting. I enjoy doing prepared shows, but... Oh, man, I've been watching a lot of No Man's Skies streaming on Twitch lately because you can get the drops, and, uh, yeah... Now, let's see what we can do. Uh, living slime will just turn into... Oh, wait, actually, that turns into something that's pretty valuable. Okay. And... All right. These, these recipes are kind of new to me. Cool. All right. Well, that's processing. Let's run up to the, the front of the ship again. For a moment. Now let's pledge along here. What I really would love to do is upgrade this this freighter with a particular piece of tech. Um, I'd also love to add additional storage, obviously. But what I really want is this right here, the matter beam, freighter mounted teleportation device. Ah, uh, which I need badly, but I need five salvaged frigate modules to unlock it. And I have yet to do a salvageable frigate. You you can also paint your ship, but I'm talking 5,000 nanite clusters, and that's not cheap. Not, not cheap. Not cheap at all. Oh, and for those people who don't like playing third-person games, man... There we go. First person. Ah! There we go. Took me a minute to get my head together. It's 
sometimes it's easier to do in first person, sometimes it's prettier in third person, I don't know, whatever you like. Alright, so those are worth runaway mold, I've gotten a lot of that. I got some of that earlier and it sold quite well, I'm not sure what's... how this is gonna go. Because this only shows that the value is 20 units each, but... Alright. And as you can see, we're, we're waiting to make more chromatic metal. Fog. Meta. And uh, for that, let's see if I can find the entry, since this is actually quite Chromatic metal. Come on, chromatic metal. Where are we at? Uh, let's see. Copper. Chlorine. Probably looking right at it, and uh, activated indium, away mold. No, this is a devices, and you can see there. I have a lot of unlocked device, unlocked, unlocked, unlocked devices, but some of them are still still missing. Portable reactors, cool. A lot of these things sell for a lot of units, like 4 million units. If you build a farm, you can kind of get yourself to a position where that's easy to do, but I just haven't got around to it. Acid is uh, very popular for fungal mold. Um, it goes into a lot of production stuff, too. Yeah. Chromatic uh, metal, here we go. Copper, cadmium, emerald, and indium can make chromatic. Alright, this thing's gonna finish up. We'll make some more. Alright. What happens if I put that in there? What does that turn into? Ah! That turns into nanites! Not a lot of nanites. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Finally getting nanites out of stuff. You just don't know how much I need in nanites. I need a lot. So I'm going to start holding on to my garbage and recycling it, I guess. Bringing it up here and just turning it into ferrite dust and uh, nanites. 5,000 nanites to unlock the colors and... This is only a C-Class ship, and I, I need some upgrades, and ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know how it is. You know how it is. You've, you've played games like this. No. Rough. Rough. You got things you want to do, and things you want to see. Uh, hey, Telemachus! I just saw your chat over there. How you doing? Wrong input ratio. Oh. Dude. Let's put this, uh, back in the ship and now let's see if we can get some metal we have some copper here somewhere cadmium emerald it doesn't sort it by anything Phosphate. All right, come on. I know there's some. I just saw it here earlier. Oxygen. Where's, where's a ton of it? Right here. that that's fine I mean it makes it but I think we can actually put it with some oxygen get more no no it's it's put it with some more of this and get more we put more of that when we get indium at one to two and then we get that we turn it back into more indium if we wanted to yeah 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 no, this is fine No, this game is is very chill. If you haven't seen No Man's Sky, it's it had a very rocky start. Um, some people were really not happy with the game when it when it came out. I loved it. In fact, the leaked video 
really is what made me want to play it um because it's just it's just very chill um and they've put out 15 expansions n not insignificant expansions over the last three four years five years whatever, however long it's been this game has seen some serious serious upgrades so and all for free no, no dlc nothing and uh yeah it's pretty shocking all right uh see that's that got the indium take that put it back in there and make some more wait, more indium do i have? i'm trying to trying to work the the plan here a little bit could take all of it turn that into yeah more indium it's knowing the recipes lets you do kind of crazy stuff if you know the, the processes and I've got a flowchart somewhere with efficient ways to reproduce things but this is all right all right now we all of that into 612 chromatic metal I know this is not the most exciting game to watch right now, but there you go. Yep, you probably saw several Twitch streams that were all about the, oh yeah, check it out, this new game, they've made such crazy promises. And they did. They did, they made crazy promises. It'll be... What else do I need? Come on. I need... Meta. Oh yeah. All right, sodium nitrate. I need sodium in a refiner. Need some sodium nitrate. Fair enough. Sodium nitrate. I need some sodium. I'm pretty sure I've got some sodium. Here's some sodium nitrate. There's the copper I was looking for earlier. Uh, sodium. order of it. Let's see, I think oxygen makes this process a little better. One to one, one to one. Yeah. And then that comes out there. Yeah. Nope. Okay, yes, oxygen goes into it to places. Okay, cool. That's fine. It's fine, I can get more oxygen. I've got some planets with oxygen on it, it's fine. Not the fastest process. Yeah. Alright. Beating around. Yes, I use the save points a lot. Is eh. Like a good idea. We'll take you on a tour of the storage area. Yeah, this is a storage area. <laughs> it's full of storage boxes. Not really surprising, I guess. These guys are decorative things that you can get stuff out of. I can change my entire appearance here. Kind of fun. Like. You know, there's a there's a fair number of things that you can change. In particular, your banner is kind of fun. I've got a, a few titles. A good one to use today. The Singularity. That's right. I am Good Lord, the Singularity. Cool. You are nearly done. Excellent. Capacity and this goes in the high capacity. Need nanotubes. Fine. Need five microprocessors. Oh. Need 
four of these. Four of those. Those, right. And now I can build a second large refiner. Stop. No, not a decal. Uh, don't want decoration, I want tech. Mineral. And. Look around here. There we go. Second large refiner. Just in case we get into one of those situations where we want to refine stuff. Yeah. Man. But because I'm me, I'm going to third person because it looks more disturbing. Anything else we can do? Now, we'll check my inventory. Everything here is fine. Modules, modules, salvage data. Salvage data is going to be useful. I still need 20. I need, need four more of those. Three, four more of those. That's easy. Destabilize sodium. There's something needs destabilized sodium, but it's going in. This passes. A couple of pieces of tech. Uh, jetpack boost I can build, but you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this for fun. Luckily, do that. Build that. Condensed carbon. Just before I forget, you know that you, you do stuff. You do stuff. I know. It's not, not the most exciting. All right, condensed carbon. I need some condensed carbon. The solution to that is just. Freaking carbon. There it is. Look at that. Five, two to five. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. I am gonna have to go to some place and get some oxygen. I I'm pretty sure I've got a, a atmospheric refiner on some planet. I just have to remember where I left it. That's a problem, you know, trying to remember where you've got gear to do stuff. All right. Building the tech, jump pack, crappy class B, but it's every little bit helps. There we go. Cool, neural stimulator installed. Awesome. All right, there we go. Now I hit it. Eh, it gives me a little more run. Can't complain over. Alright. Many of these ships I actually own. But today we'll be using this blue ship. Checking there, there, more navigation data. And keep it in here. Oh, look, runaway mold, which uh, probably could be refined into stuff like a smart person. Data. A little inventory Tetris for you. All right. Now we're going to go out to a planet, probably the rather pleasant planet we just left a minute ago. Okay, from the frigate, raiders and up. Salvageable, salvageable scrap down there. It's not that. No, no. Eric's base is on the moon. Oh, not that. That one. Planet. New Unea. 
All right, that's his planet. Uh, a lot of planets. A little, little challenging. I may cheat. I probably will cheat here. More frigates, but... Raider. Just... You know, there's no point in flying a place if you don't have to. Not going to the anomaly right now. I know, I know. You just saw me leave here. Like, what's the point? What is the purpose of what you're doing? Just all over the place. Hopefully this is interesting. This looks interesting. I just realized one of the things that would be really nice to know. Like, how many people are watching in a more clear way? Because I can see me. I know I'm watching. Uh, I'm pretty sure Telemachus is watching, and that's two currently watching. It'd be nice if that stood out a little bit. A little background change. UI. Thing. And we're running back in here because... Oh, those things reset while I stepped out. Awesome. Eat. Goodies. Your warp cells, hell yeah. Alright, because we have a base portal here, and I can go places without stopping in other places. So, there's Eric's rainy hut. He's gonna be so, he's gonna be so weirded that I'm like, yeah, I'm using your hut as a base to work out of. Get over it, get over it, bitch. You're gonna have to like it. Eric's rainy hut coming on up. I wonder how this warp effect is gonna come across on the stream. Ooh. Oh, that's some artifacting. Oh, yeah. Good times. About 10 seconds behind the feed, which I'm kind of surprised isn't more, but... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we are, back at the Rainy Hut. And there's a reason we're at the Rainy Hut. Yeah, yeah, it's discovered by Simeon. Um... reason we're at the Rainy Hut, because... All these freaking pieces of planetary cartography. Map of a nearby planet, inhabited outposts. Alright, this one's definitely from this planet. So we'll do this first. Wham! That's, that's cool. Ancient ruin site detected. Is it? Oh, over there. Alright. In that. Okay, that the ruin. And we're both positive there. Alright, now we're not gonna run 55 minutes. We're not even gonna run the like 10 minutes it would take to get there. We're gonna fly. Because why walk when you can fly? Yeah, it's off this way, because I pinned it. Oh, now it's like three minutes away. See? This is why we fly with style. Get up, I want to. If I get some altitude, I can just... High, at high atmosphere, it will do Atmo Hop. Which is fun. A lot of this game is just driving around and looking at cool things. Thank you, Telemachus, for uh, reminding me that you are here. A lot of this game is just literally exploring and trying things and poking things, and if you don't like that kind of game, let me tell you, this is not the game for you. That, that If you want everything to be obvious and laid out for you from the beginning, this ain't that kind of game. I am I'm so sorry. I, I, I love this game. But I recognize that it is for a certain kind of person who likes a certain kind of experience. And uh, if you're not that kind of person, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. It's fine. Good evening. But, uh, yeah, it would be... Here we go. Brakes! 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 I've got brakes! I've got brakes on this ship. Okay, cool. Here we go. If we can't 
Oh, not hit the ground. Oh, that would be super. All right. Sort of swing it over here. <sighs> yeah. If you are not the kind of person that likes to explore and kind of deal with a little mucky interface from time to time, this is not the game. It's not. And that's okay. Like I said, it's all right. All right. Artifact Fragment. Take some big money from it, depending on how it goes. I think this is the door we can come in. Wham! Ah, there it is. Artifact Fragment. That gives me more keys that I technically don't need. Alright. Uh, another Artifact Fragment up there. Sort of getting the keys to unlock the thing, but I always get more keys than I need because you never know when you're going to be in a hurry. Big artifact fragment. There's got to be another. There's some buried techmon. Back fragment. Right. Kind of looking for the big, big hall here. That fragment, which is another key. Usually that big hall is somewhere. I don't know. I don't want to grab a Tino ball. That's for damn sure. Just the large out. Ah, there we go. Large artifact crate. And it wants the ancient keys. Like I've been digging up. There we go. And a beautiful woodworking dish. Jeweled and dazzling. Alright. Lost artifact. Cool. Remember that. Let's see how much it's worth out of this hole. Alright. Take a look at that lost artifact. Um, it's not in the ship, it's in my pocket. Ah, oh, 1.8 million units. That doesn't suck. Doesn't suck at all. Are there any other lost artifacts? There's an artifact fragment. I'll get an extra key because paranoia is wisdom. Just dig it up enough to get that out. Alright. I think I saw. Very technology module over there. Man. Man. So, I don't want to walk. I'm too lazy to that. Since my freighter is in orbit, I can just summon my vehicles. I have all the exo vehicles available. So, and a oh, mining beam out. Get all these crystals from me. Alright. Very technology module. It is. Need some more of those salvage goods, so that's perfect. Only one? Really? You guys suck. Copper deposit, cobalt deposit. Looking for another buried module here. Use some more. Subterranean relics aren't particular. Uh, okay. Gravitino ball will cause every sentinel on the planet to come looking for me. So, here.
and knowledge stones will teach you words. Pocket rover. You think that's the, you think the pocket rover is impressive, but uh, yeah, it's not the biggest vehicle I own. It is, however, the most efficient at uh, maneuvering. And it has some pretty nice thrusters on it. Head back. Good. Mainly, though. Ooh, it's just fun to angle up the side of one of the. Barrel through trees. Oh! I. Oh, that's not good. And they've ended up in a, a bit of a, a little bit of a hole. Not as big a problem as it could be. Um, okay, maybe it is. Not that big a problem. I have a jetpack. Actually, while I'm down here, though, oh, and there's something I haven't identified on this planet. Awesome. Scanning things is very valuable. It gives you nanites and all sorts of other things that you uh, trade. Knowledge is good. As we just pour over there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna spend a little cave time here. Oh, oh. No, nope, wrong button. That laser's the one I need. Turn him into oxygen. Anything else down here? Not no. Anything else valuable down here? A buried technology module. Stuff that went away when I end it. All right. So the secret here, I'll let you in on the secret, is the fact that yes, I do have a pocket rover. Command. And I am not afraid to use it. <clears throat> and yes, it comes right up out of the hole. And a good thing too, because I've uh, I've driven this thing into some pretty serious holes before. Look, another knowledge stone too. At that. Driven this thing into some pretty serious holes before, and uh, it's probably one of the best early game exocraft. If not the best. Um, some people love the hovercraft, but I find that it's just too small and doesn't handle very well. And uh, that's a problem to me. Tech module. Alright, while we're standing here, looking around, buried mineral for me. That. 47. Alright, fine. Fine, you're gonna make me get this. Oh. Speed. Pull back. Tools need to be refilled. Or okay. stones. Every once in a while, I just go knowledge stone hunting um, because knowing more words of alien languages comes in very handy. It's just just extremely handy when dealing with aliens and doing that a lot in this game. All right, well, let's head back toward the ship, which I believe I tagged. Yeah. More dihydrogen. Use the little mining laser, and I'll get the carbon out of that because we went through some carbon. In fact, I'm going to do a little logging. Now, you could be forgiven for thinking that this is basically just Minecraft with better graphics in space because you do spend a lot of time punching trees and uh, destroying the terrain in order to fuel your industrial might. Um, I can't can't say that it's not what happened. Why? Happens a whole lot. Ugh. Yep. All right. Cool. Now, cool people, and we're smart. So the first thing we do is we move our stuff. Oh, only 38 oxygen. Didn't we? Um, 
problem. Not much in the way of dihydrogen. Really, not so much in the way of dihydrogen either. You guys suck. Laser, don't think there's anything here I can make that I need to. Heat resist. Oh, I need hermetic seals for that. Really, to make a hermetic seal... It's carbon. Those do I need? Exosuit. No, no, it was in the... It's in the exocrat. Um... Building that would require... Yeah. Technology I need another homeratic seal. Fine. Okay. Oh, one last hermetic seal. Boom. Now I've got all the environment resistances on this vehicle, and that is a good thing. Get in thing there. Refuel that. Technology recharge. That too. Um, go refuel the vehicle. Why not? Technology recharge. Technology recharge. All right. Cool. So that that's those things. So what we're going to do now? Use one of these others. All right, ancient artifact site. Where it's going to be might not be on this plane. Or it might. We just don't know. Alien monolith detected. Awesome. I like that. There it is. It's eh, 1,600 units away. Way. Sometimes it's hard to make out stuff on your HUD. If that's the case. Oh shit. Nope, don't hit that. Oh, okay. Well, okay, hit. There's the place we're going. Uh, we're bringing it into the landing. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Cool. This planet's quite nice because it doesn't have any deadly storms or anything. The environment's not trying to kill you. It's actually one of the starter worlds for uh, for new players, which is quite good. Yes, I always collect the hydrogen when I see it. All right, it's a lock. No, lunchstone. Yes, yes. Okay. Dreams of Ekra, Viking Monument. Oh yeah, Gra, Viking Ancients, bless your Ganshek. Zuishon, Su Susam, Yan Binji, Yor Isum. I I don't know all of um don't know all that yet. A small terrified creature emerges from the monolith and runs between my legs. I hear the noises of an ancient hunt, the howls of pack animals in pursuit and the thunder of hooves. Warriors on vast beasts charge through the rock, and amidst the chaos, one sees me staring. It raises its facial tendrils in greeting, barks a few words, and swings a bladed weapon down toward me. I shall grab its weapon because I'm a hardcore. Oh, a multi tool upgrade. Uh, that's not as good as my current one. I mean, if I can compare it. No, no, I have a class S multi-tool, and it's a class B multi-tool. Got good good damage potential, but it's all rigged out with, like, weapon stuff. Not surprising. I've got more slots. Yeah, no. I think maybe it might be worth more in the main, but, man, do that. Nope. All right. 
My standing with a Viking went up by one. That's good. All right. So that's one less thing. Um, distress signal or inhabited outpost. Uh, let's go with the inhabited outpost. Again, don't know if this is going to be on this planet or elsewhere. Zoom. A pull back. Transmission tower detected. Aye. Here we go. Up oh, there. Arrival in two hours on foot. We're not on foot. Base, mofo. Base. That's where we're going. Technically. Wow. Actually. Other side of the planet is where that is. Oh, let's get some altitude. Alright, now it's dropped 20 minutes. Sometimes it's just easier to fly sideways. It, it seems weird, but that's where my uh, windows are on the ship, and makes it considerably easier. The ship doesn't care. Only 3D environment. Should it? All right, it's uh, it's getting close there. Damn that sucker in here. I rotate it oriented. I've gotten high enough of fleets popping in around. Don't need that though. Oh, there we go. Come back in. Oh, brakes, 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 but there is a landing spot. Awesome. I love it when there's an actual landing spot. Ah. Oh. Sometimes, man. Uh, let's see what our situation is. Another unknown building over there, too. Uh, there's the uh, buried tech module. Ah, but the first thing we need to tag, as always, this thing. This will save you a charted position. If you see one of these, always grab these little camps because they're worth money, basically. Okay, this goes into the ship. Decided that. Here. That's a health bonus. Sodium nitrate. See? Alright. Buildings all over the place here. Alright. So, we're basically scavengers here. Um, <laughs> that's how I play. Is there stuff? Yes. There's machinery. Cool. Oh, fluids. It goes to the ship. There's some nanites with me. Stealing? chair that I could sit in. Be looking for that. Nothing in here. Would be protection from the weather if I needed it. Here's the... Oh, signal power. Oh. Thing worth pillaging in here. Body in here? Or? Ah, oh, there is an interface. Oh, and there's this. It's more encrypted navigation data because that's what I need. Alright. Transmission tower online. Long ago, it seems, an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. 126-24-120. U. B. Four, five, six, that would be seven, 
20. Yep. Ah, I found a distress beacon without actually having to go anywhere. Awesome. I guess. Abandoned starship. Cool. Oh, cool. Five and two hours. Huh? Now, another calculated thing. A save point can be used multiple times. That makes a huge difference. Okay. Let's just go chase this uh, this point. About that. Over there. Again, we're gonna do our, our orbital thing sideways because we don't care. Also, you don't handle very well with your boost on, so often very useful to just off your boost a moment. And work it. Also, I fly this way in Elite Day, so if anyone was curious. Hell of a thing. Okay. 14 seconds. Well, I like to get it a little underneath me. Round. Up. We're about to the same side of my the planet as my freighter again, which is hilarious. Alright. This is a game with, with some scale. Like, if you haven't thought about, hey, what does having a whole planet mean? To start with, and there's trillions and trillions of planets. This is This is a... This is a game that will hook you. This is, oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, we do have another ship. I guess I could get it and steal it, or get it working and break it down for stuff. Oh, um, not really stealing, I guess. Is it use of the resources? This ship got a got a rhythm now. Got a plan. When we take the garbage, put it in our vehicle, and we put it in the ship, and then we search that out and turn it into nanites and make the most profit we can. Okay. Somebody's stress beacon. The opulently furnished interior suggests the dead pilot once belonged to one of its race's more affluent families. The cause of its mid-flight demise is unclear, but the ship is likely to be carrying a decent cargo. The body lies draped over a large box covered in dangerous-looking alien markings. A strange black mist surrounds the scene. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to open the box, because... Ah, dark energy. Oh, what happened? Oh, damage. That's easy to fix. Man. Fix. Man. There. Came at a price. And that price was just dealing with some shit. Alright, what do we gotta do to get this thing flyable? Huh? Pulse engine? There. They want to swap the ship. No. No, I don't want to swap. Alright. Like there's a very technology module right there though. If me mess up on that. Here we 
nearby worth uh, worth getting. Image technology module over there. Not even taking the car. Gonna, gonna run it. Need some more carbon. Not quite as quick as the uh, the buggies gun on this, but eh, all right. The swamp, everybody loves it. Also, we have facium, which is yeah, feces. This is a planet with naturally occurring feces. I don't know how you feel about that, but I'm a little uncomfortable with it, not gonna lie. Just naturally occurring feces. Maybe some more carbon, some more oxygen, stuff. Mostly carbon, because we go through that for fuel a lot. And besides, it'll regrow, and it'll be fine. Don't have, don't get anybody on it. Yes, trillions, trillions of planets. Uh, not just trillions of planets, but multiple galaxies. It's sort of the new game plus mode. It. If you haven't looked into No Man's Sky, it is uh, quite... There is a weird narrative going on here. There's a lot of narrative. And it's worth understanding. It's interesting. All feces is natural. This, this is true. Pretty sure I could actually uh, create feces naturally. Probably synthesize feces. Oh, the hydrogen. You know what I gotta do? I gotta stop and get it all. I saw carbon crystals, I'd get them too. But. A hydrogen. Which, I think is just water. Like, notionally, I think it's just water. Wow, an unidentified rock on this? I think it's notionally just water. But... That beam collecting stuff? Yes, that beam is my mining beam. I, I actually almost never use uh, the other, the, like, oh, the weapon setting, because I, I just don't get into fights. Uh, but yes, I shoot things with this beam, and it collects them. Right, this beam. If I hit G, it switches to the blaze javelin, which is sort of a chargey thing, and it shoots a big, powerful beam of stuff. This is the, the combat. And uh, then I've got a terrain manipulator, which is what I use to dig out. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, it does the job. Uh, Alright. Well, we are. We're going to be kings. I don't want to swap out to that ship. I don't see any more buried things here. Do I have any more? Got one planetary chart left here. Stress signal, right? Probably not going to be terribly useful to me, but. Uh, somewhere that way. I don't really know what we'll find there. Like, seriously, don't know. Orbit. Oh, this one's not even far. Alright. 
man. Look along. Haha, <laughs> you can see my freighter there on the horizon. Pretty amazing. Like, oh, that's that big triangular thing. No, oh, that's, that's my freighter. My fleet. And on here. I, I feel good that I've dragged my friends into playing this game. It's pretty nice. Just chill. You can build your bases. I, I don't have a really big base to show off because uh, I tend to be very nomadic and live out of my freighter. Which is, you know, not only an intended operation, but I do. I love my freighter. Along here. I really should get around to uh, building a significant planet side base, but technically I have one. Technically I have the first base I ever made. Um, the first, like, planetary base I ever made, which is where all my exocraft are, uh, are docked. Um, way, way, way back on the outside of the, the galaxy. But... Some people really settle down and build, like, massive farming bases and use them to make millions of units an hour uh, because of the ability to mine stuff and then harvest them for various things. I haven't done that. This is just happening. Alright, brakes, brakes, brakes. Right, here we go. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, it's somebody else's broken ship, which looks a lot like the other ship that I've got in storage. Right. Let's see what we got. And we've got more stuff. A little more plunder, you know. Just got a little more plunder. For this goes in the chip. Anites, this thing, stress beacon, pile of military multi tools. All right. Broken body of a tendril behemoth lies awkwardly nearby. This craft must have crashed with such ferocity that little else is intact. I'm going to deconstruct the multi-tools to salvage the tech, because I've got a multi-tool I like. A mining beam module, C-class, and some paraffinium. This ship is called the Hammer of the Void, which I don't know if I feel how I feel about that. This is, it's a B-class ship, it's not terrible. Compared to the, the one I'm flying, it's kind of crap. A good shield strength. But otherwise, out of crap. I've got 24 million units again. Awesome. Leave the starship alone. <clears throat> it has provided me what goods it may. Around. So heal around here. Pulpy roots. Nope. Buried technology module. You know what's gonna happen. Dihydrogen crystals, you know what's gonna happen. I've also gotta get some tritium, but that can wait. You get tritium in orbit from mining asteroids and uh, it's it's not the most exciting part of the game. I mean, if you're playing looking for a game to play for excitement, this this is probably not the game for you. It's not about excitement. It's about, I did this cool thing, I saw this cool thing, maybe no one else saw something just like this. That's that's what this game's about. If you want a, an exciting game of space exploration, I mean, 
I, I kind of want to recommend Elite Dangerous, but the developers have been kind of pricks for the last few years. That kind of sucks. I don't know. I've played a lot of Elite Dangerous. I can't can't really mock anyone if they wanted to play it. Go in the ship? Yes, it can. But oh, I found a microprocessor. Those things. There's a button to make. Awesome. Or projectile ammunition. Not really what I needed. All right. Right here. Peace. All right. The tech module. Awesome. Or within line of sight. Cobalt. I could use that cobalt. Module 300 units that way. What am I going to do? Oh, look. My fleet made its uh, way to uh, negotiations. Awesome. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mine up this cobalt. Because I have a need for cobalt. Cobalt's great. Um, irradiated cobalt is used in a bunch of formulas. A bunch of blueprints. So, let's take this uh, cobalt. Sometimes you just find things laying out in the open you need. Take the time. In the minute. And yes, I could fill this hole back in if I wanted to, but... Um, Screw the ecology. I got plenty of planets. Trillions of planets. Why would I why would I do that? Okay. Uh, I don't need to run over to the buried mineral formation. Oh. Wasn't that deep after all. And got a glowing. Okay. Anything else? Anything else worth running? 121. Might as well drop. Actually, uh, damage machinery over here. Basium. Here. Uh, that, that machine was literally jammed with shit. Uh, we can't reach the starship from here, but we can put that in the Romer. Salvaged. Cool. Well, in fact, there. Might as well just get those while I'm getting. No reason not to. I've gone through all those blueprints. I could. I can go buy more. Blueprints. One of the things I have in disgusting abundance is uh, navigation data, which is what you trade to the. To the cartographer for blueprints. I mean, not blueprints, for maps to think. Definitely use. Definitely use some maps to some um, abandoned factories. I haven't found any of those in quite a while. Yep, we're just cutting down trees with a giant beam. Because it's convenient. We don't have to go anywhere. Boom. Boom and boom. Alright. Continue on. Oh, it's back, literally back next to the ship. <sighs> yeah, sometimes the spawning is quite weird.
salvage data. Do I have to get another one around here? Looking. Copper deposit. Okay, on copper, right? Alright, I think we're good. Let's transfer the cargo from the Exocraft into the appropriate slots. Yep. There. Good on power. We're good on mining beam. Okay. Cool. Um, out of curiosity. Better. Uh. Out of curiosity, do we have upload stuff? We do have stuff to upload. I'll take those free nanites. Not much. Like... The planet we're on is Nelica Tau. I've discovered all the... All the, all the things that live here. Or at least I've scanned them all. There's apparently stuff I haven't... seen... Like, not everything is showing is, is fully, fully done, which is... Um... 10 of 16? No, okay, all right. Floor documented, 10 of 16, 8 of 18. There's... I've only got half of the minerals, and... 10 of 16 of the plants? Jeez. That's nuts. I need to go... All right, for now... Okay. Urban. Um. Command. Let's see. We've got a scanner. So, what can we scan? Drop pods. I'm all drop podded up. Abandoned structures. Ruins. Alien structures. Scan for abandoned buildings. Picked one. Where is it? I guess I could drop it there. You know. Oh, along the way I see a different building. Will totally exploit because that's how they roll. Chart. Doing my part to save and chart. Rumor. Navigation data, yay. The hydrogen oxide, yay. The damaged machinery. That in the rumor. Okay. Nanites. Badly. Hey. Navigation data. Didn't really need all that badly, but okay, I'll, I'll take it. It's free. More nanites. Free. Good. Right? That's all there is here. Always take your opportunities as you find. There's a buried technology module. Take your opportunities as they come up. All right, we're still locked on to that abandoned building. Sweet. Oh, look, another freaking building just over the hill. This is what happens. I, I start, I start wandering around in a place that I thought I knew well, and it turns out there is shit literally over every hill. 
every freaking hill. And I, I, I was pretty sure we surveyed all this stuff. Like, when we got here, we, we've driven around the base. It's just kind of crazy. Where the plant life? I guess maybe the plant life I haven't scanned is underwater. I could be sad. Okay, rover. And we're gonna have so much of that stuff to refine. Wow. Homer? Alright, into the buildings. More navigation data. Am I having a good time? Is a good time. Yeah, I'm having it. Okay. Else? Just those. Always getting the dihydrogen. Always. Probably spend about 10 minutes like mining asteroids, maybe 20 minutes mining asteroids for tritium. End up with so much gold, it's ridiculous. That's a, actually kind of a problem. Alright, get it off toward the abandoned building again. Barely missing a hole. There it is. Good? Could be bad. That ah, seems fine. Everything seems fine. All fine. Nothing, nothing bad here. Nothing could ever, nothing bad could ever happen on this planet. Nothing ever, ever, ever. Not even, not even a little. All good. We're turned into so much blast stuff. Now that I've cleaned out my inventory, it's actually going. Uh, I can't quite. Actually going pretty well. Running around with a full inventory is just no fun because you find stuff, you can't do anything with it. You really, you really need to invest in that uh, storage tech as quickly as you can, as soon as you can. And that that's going to take a bunch of salvaged data modules. Like, uh... oh, oh boy, we could get in a real fight here. We could get some whispering eggs. Hmm. I don't think I'm feeling that bold right now. Do not feel that bold. Not even kind of. Alright, we learned another word, and now, now we get to deal with this deserted terminal. I can go in the roamer. Roamer. Learning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log. Continuation for analysis. I awoke from a dream where I was drowning in something thick and glutinous. It filled my pores and suffocated me. I want to believe that this is my tired mind playing tricks. I've been so long without deep sleep. The crimson sphere shimmers at the corner of my eye whenever I try to rest. I cannot comprehend how it tracks my spoor from world to world. Or is it that I'm following it? The orb cannot be in all places at once. That cannot be. Oh, bad news, buddy. I discover something coded deep inside the long, long dead traveler's data log. Something that has been left that will aid me on my own journey. War nanites. Awesome. Awesome. And as always, run over the save point. You never save too much. And now, before I forget, my exosuit. Go to hunt the past. How much data there? 
then go to the roamer. Oh no, wait, that no, no, it doesn't. Where we'll go to the roamer. Bunch of crystal fragments, which we will on. Out of there. Positron. Well, for the positron ejector, I don't think we have a positron ejector in our ship. Perfect. I'm pretty sure we don't. All right. Life support module. That's all right. Viking dagger. That's it. That 1.8 mil there. That's so going to be Need some more of those. Um, trading material. Put another boost module on the on the roamer. I mean, I have a lot. It does take a slot. Oh, look, more salvage data. Oh, we'll put that down there. All right, three, four stacks of salvage data. Oh yeah. Oh look, glowing minerals. Yeah, break those down. Awesome. Okay. Now let's look at the Roamer inventory. Boost mod. And if it had to be anywhere, it'd be here. Glass set. Let's do it. Perfect dynamo. 50. Jeez. That is a lot of boost power. All right. Cool. Um, that. Warm crystal. Not sure why there's storm crystal in here. The hydrogen goes in my pocket. My pocket. That stuff is fine. Okay. That's just... Okay. Well, that's that. But again, take your moment only saves the game when you get out of your ship or otherwise explicitly tell it to save. Command. Alright, let's look for another... for ruin. Ooh, detected. Where at? Yeah. I want to do a five minute drive? I guess. Or the hydro from the way. More stuff on the way. It, it, you will be often tempted, as I often am, to just freaking call the ship, then fly over there, come back. But we've done this before. Yeah, we Um But the problem is then you run you don't stumble over things. And walking can feel like it's a total pain in the butt. Like I get it. I get it. I really do. But and I bet you're wondering what we're gonna do here. Uh we're gonna that. With just the tiniest of slopes. There we go. <laughs> What's a mountain? What do I care about a mountain? Wow, but, uh, that boost is actually pretty significant. So now we're going the other way, away from the ship. Look, we found one of those copper deposits. Well, tell you what. See, the problem with mining with the Romer is the beam is quick. It's effective and it's efficient. But it's, it won't deflect down the... So getting out and actually doing it by hand 
or summoning the Minotaur, which is the giant robot. Really, do what it works. Alright, check. What's that? That one. Don't blast the ground under your own feet unless you're ready to deal with that. And out there. Alright, I think that's all that copper. Continuing on toward the ancient ruin. Oh, with more resources. What's a, a hydrogen crystal? Both of them. And the knowledge bot. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. More stuff we can get from the damaged containers. Roamer. Back in the car. Yes, the car is named the Orphan's Tears. I am off. Uh, I'm a sick bastard. So we're clear. In case anyone did not know. Oh, carbon crystal. Inventory is full. Man. I'm gonna get rid of the. Alright. Cool. We are getting a little bit full. This is this is danger. Starting to get full enough that I'm gonna to have to like summon the ship to come over and get stuff. The microprocessor. Awesome. Alright, hey, get ruined. Away. Two minutes. No telling what we're gonna see between here and there either. We're gonna see that we cannot run into that. Alright, we come into a new area, which tells me there's probably some sort of tower around here. To say Most, but could be at the same time. Be over this hill. I think it's over this hill. Expedition is surveying. Copper there. Technically, you will miss. Crystals. Oh, another knowledge stone. <laughs> oh, more boxes that seem to have res resed in right behind me. Can't complain. I'll take your stuff.
don't have good ones. Stop it. Uh, laser the flowers from time to time. Oh, this is going to be one of those hills. Oh, huh. rain does seem to be less pleasant. Alright, hold it. up now. The knowledge stone. So words, Viking word. Legacy of Offer. Runes take shape upon the stone. Burning with light, they sing to me of the Viking ancients and the language of my people. The sentinels are not of the natural order. Things must fall apart. In their endlessness and replication, the automatons prove themselves abominations. They must be purged from existence. All will die, whether through righteous battle or assault of time. Uh, you know what? I could probably go with, uh, more language help. All right. Another word, and a little more reputation. Cool. Alright. I look around. Anything nearby? Great technology mod. Right there. But I really need them right enough of that. How far is the ship from here? Four minute drive. Bet it's not a four. Oh. That's my capital ship. There. Can I might try close? Yes. Open more dihydrogen. Sure. Still don't know why I have storm crystal in the exo unit, but that's all right. It's all right. Command. Archers. Another model. All right. Where did it go? sort of drive along and yeah I know now we're spending a lot of time on one planet not locusting up I'll tell you what once we uh, once we get this uh, last alien ruin here what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go to space do a little asteroid mining because I need the tritium and we'll figure out what else we're doing for sure 
This planet is a little boring because, no, well, it's a it's a nice safe place to live. Okay. Nobody wants to live in a hell world. And some people do. Not really my choice. Have a hell world. Go there. More cobalt. Eventually, I'll need it. bit of inventory management. That way. Oh, more cobalt sitting right there. Uh, I don't need it. Rolling down the bourbon street on Often it's like driving through a 70s sci-fi novel cover. Oh look, it's kind of one of these mountains in the way. Oh, it's down. Never pass up on a free word. Speaking of which, Sometimes you forget to, to adjust the right tool. I mean, if this copper, if I had to go looking for this copper, I wouldn't get it. But, since I'm here, and since it's here... Since we're both here, and I've got a mining beam, and it's got copper, uh, you know, you do what you do. You do what you do. Good time. This is gonna be quite, quite a bit of a hefty stream. I usually don't stream this long. Eh? Hmm. It's, gonna be fun. it's gonna be fun to remux this thing. <laughs> Get the high res version. Oh yeah. Good times. And if you don't know what remuxing is, it's a thing that you do, uh, you know, in particular. In particular, it's a thing you do in OBS, but it can be used, done by many tools to turn a, a multiplexed file into a different demultiplexed file. Um, I happen to record my microphone audio separately on a separate track. 
from main track, uh, from the uh, capture audio in OBS, which lets me treat them differently. I can, you know, gate one or whatever. I can adjust the levels after the fact or do a little auto mo audio modification of my voice afterwards if it needs it. If it doesn't, no, it doesn't sound right. But, you know. But, of course, the longer a file is, the larger a file is, the longer it takes to remod. Sensibly enough. It's going to see. It's going to be interesting to see how long. Maybe we'll. Maybe I'll uh, save going to a hell world. For, let's just do this monolith. Get a little tritium. Do a little cleanup. And uh, surprise people later with, uh, with another. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Just making it up as I go along. There are some streamers who treat this like a job, and they're right. They're right. I don't want to. Don't want to suggest that they're not. You know, some people play a game like it's their job. Some people stream like it's their job because it is. I will never be one of those people. I don't enjoy it like they do. But that's not to say I don't enjoy it, especially with the right game. I should also stream some more kickers at some point. Because that's, that's what everybody on Odyssey is interested in, watching someone actively enact the cruel, violent will of the state. That's what I'm all about. Oh, we haven't run into another building in a while. Even a little output. Right? Okay. There's the monolith. Yeah, Really? You bastard? Let's see, do I have a save? Uncomfortable, we're out here too long. Stone, stone, stone. That's excellent. Oh, there's three on this one. Awesome, awesome, excellent. Hesitation. Yo, Gaze, the ancient warrior body. Restore blank, uh, quit not all power. Holy, whole body blank. I became a part of a strange new entity. Reality, the ancient rock opens. Inside, the dried out heart of an ancient warrior is strung up between wooden pillars. Pulses slowly. Lying below it on a dusty floor, a set of wrinkled lungs that took, looked forever doomed to wheeze stale air. A desiccated eyeball stares up at me, unblinking. Uh, jeez, uh, do I want to kill them, or, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna kill him. Draws substance from the heart, as if it were a common tree or stone. My ears are filled with a piercing scream. The monolith's power fades, and the vision ends. Uh. Oh, decrease my standing with a Viking. Alright, well, that's, that's annoying. And it happens. Alright. You're, you're right. I should uh, do a little inventory management here to move stuff to my pockets. Then summon the ship. Like I was said I was going to do. Yep, you are correct. You are correct. No, you didn't actually. Come in. Here we go. Here comes the ship. We transfer cargo from the Exocraft. Yep. Go in there. There. And we'll fill it back up before we get out. Always leave your Exocraft. Fueled. All right. 
Orbit. Orbit. Right. Where we're going. Orbit. With the attitude. We're in space today. You know you made it to space today? Well, when you start seeing a bunch of asteroids. Like so. This is where I just start mining the heck out of a bunch of asteroids and get some tritium. Which I need a large amount of. Also get gold nuggets and such out of it, but who cares? End up with more silver than I know what to do with, but who? Crystals today. That's, that's pretty good. They're used for specific crafting, but they can also be broken down in pretty. Wrong with that. Yes, asteroids look different in most systems. They they they're sort of procedurally generated, like most everything else in this game. They're hypercrystals. Man, I'm cleaning up on the hypercrystals. Great if I were I was trying to build a hyperdrive or something. Yeah. There's no freighter. Let's drive over here for a minute so I can turn around. Rootable for her. Okay. Right, out of curiosity. Out of curiosity. Just pure curiosity. Kind of a... I may not need another freighter. Man. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they got. Through to your stations. They... Two million for a classy combat specialist. but they're kind of hmm I really don't need a another friggin of that sort right now
There we go. That's that's my that's my freighter. That's better. So much better. In fact. Wing this sucker up. ship on its way out. Yeah, you trade. Alright. Cool. We made it. Made it alive. Back to the freighter. Such as it is. We've cleaned out a bunch of planetary side missions, which eat. These things have recharged again, that's pretty awesome. Jelly. Your warp cells. A point. Awesome. This. Hi guys. I know you're doing a bunch of space exploration. Two hours left on those guys, and they are rocking. Cool. While I'm thinking about it, let's let's manage an inventory. Anything in you because moved you. Awesome. You know what I can do? Install that. Then install it for the stuff. Cadmium. Right. See anything else for organization here? Nope. Ugnium in my back now. Bit of a shame. Argos. We're actually quite short on ferrite dust. Which amuses me. It's hugely amusing. Go into the To uh, glass is used for too much build.
Nice corp suit. Virgin's cubes. Very useful stuff. Tractor. Idle lattice. All right, that's that's a start. Check you around, Telemachus. I see that you have to take off. Hope you've had an enjoyable or at least an interesting time. Dust. I'm curious as to what happens if I put some. Nothing. Fair enough. Wait, that's straight. All right. Residual goop finds into. Viscous fluids. This should go quickly. Excellent. Yep, yep, we're gonna end this this stream with uh, a bunch of refining. We started it with a bunch of refining, and then we're gonna end it with a bunch of refining, and it's just gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Refined. Refined. It's fine. Awesome. Fantastic. Fine. Uh, I sometimes miss automation in this game. It's like, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I could just, like, have the systems do what they're supposed to do and, you know, automatically do it? Yeah, it would. It would be cool. But that's not the game we're playing. That's fine. It's all fun. Doodly doodly do, doodly do, doodly doodly do. Waiting for this. this. I mean, technically, I could parallelize some of this stuff by building more refiners, but no, I think two is. Like, it's, it's gonna be alright. Gonna be alright. I don't know. Gonna be okay. Everything's fine. Nothing, nothing is stressful. There we go. We take this, we put it to the ship. Go to the ship, and we say, oh, we got viscous slime, we've got living slime. Living slime turns into that. Living slime turns into Viscous fluids turns into. Oh, I'm just gonna, gonna, gonna get everything optimized down. How to get everything optimized. Let's check on these guys. How is this fleet flying? This is our trade fleet. Let's speak with Commander. Greetings, Traveler. 495 light years and another 25 hours. All systems nominal. Yeah, this is our serious trade fleet. Getting out there, trading, doing some business. You know, a little violence, a little action. Good times. Good times. Things are away. Nutrition. What do you think I put in the nutrition processor? An excellent question. Um... I have not picked up any more stuff, which is good. Good. 
while we wait for that, I will organize this stuff a bit more. Oh. Eight Viking daggers. Two Kovacs casings. Two Viking effigies. Holy crap. I mean... I think these things would be worth more. Man. Wow. Look at that. Kovacs casings are for 22k each. Got two stacks. And these Corvax convergence cubes, I know are used for. I just don't know which offhand. So much stuff. I've got so many bullets for weapons I don't use. I don't use Pulse Spitter or Scatter Blaster. I don't use any of those things. I could. I guess I could build one. scanner tech, but I guess a blaster would be okay. A blaze javelin's not all that great. You know what? The blaze javelin is not all that great. Let's, let's get rid of that. Brain manipulator tool is fine. Alright. Alright. Bolt caster is the classic. Bolt spitter is the you know, high not high rate machine gun. Plasma launchers are not what we're doing. Scatter blasters are shotguns. Pulse spitter. I could do a pulse spitter. I could do a pulse spitter. Okay, we've got the wiring looms, it's okay. Alright. Fix. Uh, all right, so let's find some stuff that enhances the pulse spitter. That does. Solar mirror, wiring loom. All right, that improved that. Now, anything else that'll improve the pulse spitter? The solar mirror and a quantum computer. I want to build that. Wearing harness. Crafty. Okay. And now I need a quantum computer. Got the stuff for that, thankfully, because of all the stuff that's been dropped. Oh, you can do it. It's a little familiar. On a computer, and now we have a pulse spitter, which is nicely upgraded and yeah, ricochet mode, <laughs> ricochets off of stuff. Uh, you know, amplify cartridges, increase weapon clip, move the technology. That's it. I don't think I've got anything else for the pulse spitter, but I could go look around and see if anybody's got a got something. I mean, I don't use the grenades very often. Scanner upgrades. I'll drill? Really? Wait a second. Another enhancement for the uh, mining beam? First of all, let's purge this. All right. Bring harness. Okay. Processor. Oh, I need those. We're off. I need microprocessors. Or a banana too. So 
solar mirrors. It's 18 chromatic metal. Hmm. Alright, either of you guys done? Go to uh I'll go to the current star base. Come back. It's like the floor got confused. Sometimes there are bugs. Sometimes there are bugs. It's okay. We're working. We're working. We're getting there. to get back to the freighter, but that's okay. I'm gonna craft a solar mirror. Any chromatic metal? Oh. Back to the freighter then. Work around your bugs. Work around your bugs. Times. Got to. I was pretty sure that they had uh, pushed out an update. But these are egged another. This is my. Yeah. Not too close to the space station. It's all about all about making use of what you got. All good. All good. Luckily, we had that portal right there. The reason that I set it up. <laughs> It takes you to your uh, freighter. It's in a hurry. Now I have a full stop to my wolf. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Much better. Here we go. Alright, now I've been doing this longer than I thought I was going to be doing this today. It wasn't really my intent. My intent at all, but that. Alright. We are back. Back in the uh, building. Oh, these things are recharged again. Take my free stuff every time. Every time. And hit my thing, and then. Okay, that's still running. My god. Alright. All right. You, on the other hand, not still running. And we can make some chromatic metal. Now. Ah. There's the cup. Oh, there's copper. 
We just mined up a ton. And I'm pretty sure we've got some oxygen. Always have some oxygen. Oh, it does not go with oxygen. What is it that makes chromatic metal so efficiently? Oh, that's a good question. I think it's, is it more chromatic metal? Yeah, no. No makes copper. Right? Remember. Remember to look that up. Now this will do. And, yeah. We know. That will not do. I'm going to look it up, which means this is probably going to go dark for a minute as I switch over to my browser. All right. I want output of chromatic metal. Just fine. Be chocolate chromatic metal. Show me the recipes. Um, cadmium and ferrite. Mm, emerald and ferrite. Ah, uh, copper and ferrite. One to one. Hmm. Indium and ferrite. Indium does pretty well. Activated cadmium and activated indium. Looking at the, uh, looking at my values here. Silver, gold, and copper. That's actually not bad. Silver, gold, and indium. That's, that's actually quite good. All right. All right, all right. Silver, gold, and whatever. Okay. Alright. Go. Silver. Silver. And I know we've got gold. Vast quantities. Loading outside the ship. Wouldn't believe. All right. Peace. Okay, that will make a lot of, of silvering. Yeah, there we go. 30 minutes. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, there we go. We're back. Everything's back. I think we're going to take this moment to sort of go, yeah, I think we're done. So, if you've had a good time, if you've enjoyed yourself, if you have, oh, noticed that I didn't complete the solar mirrors, I, you know what, let's just finish, finish it. You not in here? Yes, I was. Yep. Now we remember what I needed the chromatic metal for. Alright. Told you about this game getting distracted, man. 40 gold and 40 silver. Oh. Ah. Uh, no, no. No. 40 gold and 40 silver, huh? Big cat. Some days with a stick. Some days. Old ladies and gentlemen. You just saw me put it in there. Where is it? Manium gold. All right. Now. 
do those. And now install the optical drill in the multi-tool like so. There we go. Wow, plus 50% resources mined. Crap. You can fucking around. I like that. Huh. Probably go over here. Better? The mining stuff is. Put all the S class stuff right next to it and then maximum, maximum upgrades. Alright. Now, now we're done. We're done. I promise. We're done. So it's been good. It's been fun having you guys around. I, uh, done. Just, just, it's been mad and crazy. What do you do? So, man, we've been recording like two, nearly three hours. Nearly three hours. So, I will catch you, Hoopy Fruits. Next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do, which is a very, very short list. Until then, don't stop going into the pit.